Hi everyone, welcome to my Mando Lessons studio tour of 2022. As you can see, I'm walking into my little studio here. It's going to look a lot bigger than it actually is in real life because I've got a real wide angle lens on it that makes it a little distorted, but also uh, shows you more in one go than I could normally show you. So, here we are. Uh, this is where I work out of every day. And it's where I spend most of my time. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty small. It's about 10 feet by 10 feet. And it's pretty packed with instruments and lights and microphones and cameras and things like that. And I got some interest about how I make the videos that I make. So I wanted to uh, show you around. Just go around the circle here. We've got a, I'm a amateur, very amateur, uh, pedal steel guitar player. So I've got... My pedal steel set up here, a couple electric tenor guitars surrounding it with that Rickenbacker there and the tenor Telecaster right there. And uh, it's also kind of back uh, doubles as a little background display for when I'm sitting at my computer making lessons. So I've got the, the bowl back mandolin sitting on there. Got another guitar right here. This is a Grez Mendocino for anyone who's into electric guitars. Uh, great, nice, lightweight guitar that I've really been enjoying. Back here, you can see my pedal board. Uh, I like to make kind of ambient, bloopy sounding music on that. If you follow my personal Instagram page, which is not the Mando Lessons one, but Baron Collins Hill on Instagram, you've probably seen me sitting there fiddling with those and making very different music from what I teach on, uh, on Mando Lessons. If you have any questions about any of the stuff that you see here today, throw your questions in the comments and I will do my best to answer them about specific gear or how I run my workflow, things like that. Got a couple amps here and a bass amp. Up here we've got a background light. Uh, I usually have this light on the ceiling turned off because as you can see it's much yellower and not as good color quality and it doesn't match these other two lights that I have in the room. So that stays off, and these are the only two lights that are lighting me at the moment. This is always in a state of change. I'm always trying to make my videos look a little better, sound a little better, things like that. This is also, I want to point out, not I'm not trying to flex here with all of this instrument and gear that I've got. This is my job. Uh, this is stuff I've amassed over the last, well, I guess with the technology side of things, it's the last... Uh, you know, 12 plus years, and with the instruments, the last 20 plus years. Uh, this didn't spring up overnight. I didn't go out and spend a ton of money just to get all these things at once to to show off. But um, I just wanted to show you around because it seemed like there was some interest in the space that I work out of. Got a lot of acoustic instruments over here. This uh, electric tenor guitar, and then we're into the tenor banjo up front there. Uh, then we have this five string banjo, a couple tenor guitars, a couple six string guitars, and my Citern kind of giant bazooki tucked away back there. And that's most of the instruments here, except for the mandolins that I always have uh, ready to go over here, uh, right next to where I live stream and make videos from, things like that. The only other thing in the room here is this uh, pump organ. It's got a cool sound. It's not in great working condition, but I'll see if I can get it to make some sound for you. There's a little taste of that. I love the nice mellow sound of these old pump organs. They're never in great shape, but uh, they're fun to play around with. And you can usually find them for free if you got the space in your house to put one. Just keep an eye on Craigslist and you'll you'll find them eventually. Uh, this is the non-pretty corner of my room, as you can see. This is where I keep all the cases for these instruments, uh, extra camera equipment, tripods, lights, microphones. And right now I've got um, my oval hole Ellis in there. And but I've got my other two mandolins, my F hole Ellis and the Lawrence Smart 10 string right there, ready to go when I am sitting at kind of the main command center of Mando Lessons HQ. So let's zoom into this a little bit and I'll show you around the, the kind of technology side of things. So starting out you'll see this giant 
very bright light and this light is actually only on like 15 or 20 percent right now it gets a lot brighter I just don't need that power mostly what I need is that big round circle to give me a nice soft diffuse light when I'm making videos a little bit of uh, sound just got some sound tiles back there just to cut down on the reflections and the echo and the bad sounds it's a little uh, dark back in here but I'll uh, see what I can show you I've got two of these cameras just upgraded to Sony because a couple of reasons uh, one is autofocus I'm recording right now and have been recording for the last 10 years on Panasonic cameras which are great but the uh, video autofocus is a little unreliable and if I want to be moving around uh, enthusiastically in my seat while I'm making these lessons uh, that's just uh, what I'm gonna need is some better uh, autofocus now these two cameras and this one back here also has kind of hard to see with the the black foam behind it but that one back there if you can see also has a XLR adapter up on top um, so I can plug these microphones which you see hanging out above these are a couple shotgun microphones made by uh, Deity the S mic 2 shotgun microphones they're off screen so if I sit down I'll try to get that properly exposed you can see in the frame you can't see the microphones it's just me um, but these sit out here this one's for the mandolin that one is for oops, sorry that one is for my voice so I can get a nice close mic sound the closer your microphones are to the sound you're trying to record generally the better things are gonna sound so um, I don't think I mentioned for any uh, camera nerds out there this is the these are the uh, Sony a7-4s this is the Sigma 65 millimeter f2 and that is used for my, the close-up of the mandolin shot that you often see on mando lessons back there I've got a 35 millimeter f1-2 which is very wide um, aperture and what that allows for is really um, shallow depth of field when I'm sitting here um, because my room is so small I really need all the separation from the background I can get especially with all these busy instruments in the background um, any separation I can get from the background is gonna make me pop out and put the focus on the instrument rather than the often messy and busy background behind me so I've got 35 there 65 for the mandolin close-up moving down here I've got what I call my zoom party trick now I use this as a little uh, foot switch when I'm live streaming I'll see if I can get these both in the shot if you keep an eye on the video there that is gonna go in it's a picture of my camera right now but uh, when I hit that with my feet I can switch from the wide view to the mandolin close-up without taking my hands off the instrument so I can switch mid song I'm trying to show you guys everything that I uh, that needs to be seen when I'm playing and teaching mandolin so as you can see right now I've got the uh, video of what my cameras see up on my computer I'm doing that through a couple capture cards I use these for streaming that's the blue light back there what are they called Avermedia capture cards I think it's like 4k CAP is the model name can't totally remember right now but those go into my computer I'm using a, a Apple MacBook Pro laptop those go into my computer and also the uh, the zoom party trick that's the Elgato stream deck is the actual name of it um, that goes into my computer and then I'm using Ecamm live which is some great software so I can go stream live to you guys uh, most Saturdays if you haven't seen my live streams definitely subscribe so you can find those later um, when I when I go live to do those super fun Q&A every once in a while and when I'm just recording regular lessons they just go into the the memory cards on these cameras and I put them on my, my computer and then edit through uh, Final Cut Pro is my editing software of choice then everything goes up to YouTube that's about all there is to see I can show you my little capo collection right here just in case uh, I have a capo emergency they're ready to go and that is about all I can think of you know I've got these um, blackout curtains to control the light some more um, sound panels just to cut down on reflections you could always use more I'm thinking about 
putting more up on the walls, things like that. And this is where I spend all my time. Again, this is not me trying to flex and say, look at all this cool stuff I've got. This is just trying to show you how I do what I do. You know, this is amassed over the decades. This is not something I just sprung for. I could never afford to just spring for all this stuff in one go. Uh, it's just kind of reinvesting the uh, very generous donations that folks give me for Mando lessons into trying to make those lessons better. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions about any of the stuff that you see here today, uh, except for the plants, clearly I'm not a plant person, uh, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to answer, and I hope you're having a good beginning of the new year. Uh, that's all for now. Stay tuned, of course, for more regular mandolin lessons in the coming weeks. New lessons every week, so subscribe if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.